What's up guys? How's it going? Bringing you guys a pretty epic game right here and a really fun one to play on some uh, conquest on the what is this? No Nashar Canal, Nose Hair Canal, whatever people call it. And uh, if you saw right there, you could you could put ammo on the uh, on the little bird and drive around with it. But uh, start off in the game, parachute out, and go in cap A before I s try to spray down this chopper. But um, I'm using the M240B, and I just unlocked this gun tonight, actually, or last night. By the time this video will be up, and it has quickly become my favorite support gun by far and um, <laughs> this gun's already like my fourth most used gun I pretty much used it all night because I just had so much fun with it and uh, it's pretty much a hip fire and beast and uh, you'll see through this game I think I only aimed down sights a few times for a few of my kills but I ended up getting taken out right there by the uh, ATM van whatever the hell it is and uh, spawn back in this uh, chopper I'm like oh okay let me get this uh, free C4 kill real quick. And uh, I quickly switched out to C4. I had mortars uh, because the game previous to this, the other team uh, liked to call in mortars in their spawn. And uh, if you don't know already, mortars is the best counter to mortars. And uh, it seems like, you know, you, you pull out your mortar, you crouch, you, you go to place it down. It seems like if you just face it in their general direction, where the guy's on his mortar, it seems like it will automatically put the aimer where the uh, mortar's at, really close to it. And basically, what you do is you just line it up right where that icon is and uh, fire a shot and uh, move away. And it works out pretty good. That's how I've been dealing with people with mortars and whatnot. But uh, the attachments I got for this gun is the uh, it's the three four scope, the American side. Yeah, extended mags, and I believe the bipod. Uh, I was still early on using this weapon at the time. I was like, oh shit, where the hell did that guy come from? But uh, still early on. Now I'm using it with the foregrip, and I actually really, really like it with the foregrip. And uh, yeah, this has quickly become my favorite support gun. Um, it's definitely <laughs> my running gun support gun now because it just has such amazing hip fire. Like, look at that shit. It's so good. And you'll. Uh, I've had some uh, pretty good games with this uh, weapon so far already, and I ended up getting taken out right there. But no big deal. Um, keep on keeping on and all that. And, uh, uh, people wonder why I don't say that anymore. It's, it's because of that damn commercial. They stopped playing that commercial. I don't hear it no more, so it's not in my head. But, uh, I don't know. Shit pops in and out of my head all the time. And parachute back down to go capture the A flag, because I do not spend any time in uh, vehicles this game. Except for the occasional getting dropped off above a flag, but uh, that's about it. Mostly I'm just running around with this thing, just uh, hip firing fools like a beast. Because this gun is just so good, and uh, I recommend if you haven't tried it yet. Oh, look at this guy, he's fucking Jungle Jim over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't even know how you get up there. I'm sure there's a few ways. Oh, get hip fired, son. And, uh,. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Today was probably like one of the most fun sessions I had on uh, Battlefield 3. And uh, coincidentally, it's the release date of Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I don't know, just every game today, i just been having a lot of fun. Didn't really get frustrated. I noticed the other team was going for flags most of the games. And uh, I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. Get hit fired real quick. But uh, I, I just had a lot of fun today playing this game. And, I, I, and you know, despite like... My complaints with this game, I still really enjoy this game, and I, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm definitely still hooked on playing it. Uh, I didn't have Xbox Live for over the weekend, and, uh, you know, I didn't get to play it for, the like, two or three days. And uh, you really miss out on this game when uh, when you're not playing it. But, uh, you know, I got my live squared off today. Actually, went and bought a live. It was pretty funny. <laughs> guys all like, oh, you need that Xbox Live for Modern Warfare 3? I was all, nah, I didn't buy Money Wasted third time. And I just walked away. <laughs> he kind of just looked at me. He was, seemed very surprised that I said that. But, um, yeah, the uh, attachments that I currently used on this gun after I started unlocking things is the... I, I like the Russian 3-4 scope. And if you haven't tried it yet, it's actually really good. I, the, the only thing unfortunate with it is on a lot of the guns, it's like the last attachment you even unlock. And uh, basically, if you don't know what it is, it's just like the scope on the 44 Magnum, or it's it's kind of like uh, the ACOG in uh, Bad Company 2, 
or COD 4 with just that chevron symbol, no lines or nothing like this. And um, I like it much better than the American one, which I am using right now. I forget what it's called. It's like M143, something like that. Uh, three four scope, but um, I don't know. There's like a, a crosshair above the crosshair where your bullets actually hit, and it always confuses me when I'm using uh, guns with this optic. So I generally do not like to uh, use them. Oh, look at this guy with the tank. How do you get in here, buddy? Let me, let me give you some C4 real quick. You'll like that. <laughs> get him with the C4. Notice this guy's legs sticking out, so I just hip fire him down like a champion. Because, um,. This gun is just so good for hip firing, and uh, I don't know. This gun just seems greatly overpowered. Um, I'm pretty sure it does the same exact bullet damage as the M60, and uh, it just has a lot better rate of fire. I unlocked the M62 like the last game of the night, and I tried it for a little bit. It's all right. It looks cool. It looks kind of cool. It looks like a, I don't know. It just looks cool, and I I really like this gun right here though. It it made me uh, really like using support. Because uh, a big problem that I had with these support guns is I never could do very well with them. In any game, I just never really did good with the light machine guns. But I definitely like this one. And I guess it's just because it's good at close quarters. Because I can just hip fire it. It's pretty good at long range. Uh, yeah, but now I use either the 3-4 scope or the reflex sight. And that's what I seem to be liking with this weapon. And uh, getting suppressed heavily right here. So I'm just... Proning around, just uh, trying to move a little bit before I pop back up. Notice this guy I start to take him out. Ah, and then I get knifed. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but every time I get knifed, it scares the shit out of me because I'm like doing something, and all of a sudden the screen starts acting weird, and it, it literally makes me jump sometimes. <laughs> it uh, freaks me out. I'm just not expecting it. I don't know. Sometimes I get really focused. Oh, look at that hip fire, man. This shit's a beast. <laughs> Definitely, uh, this shit, this might actually be my current favorite gun. I've just had so much fun. Look at that double spray, double headshots, like shot like five bullets at him. It's just so good. And you know, if you haven't tried this weapon out, it's a lot of fun. And it's definitely what I've been using a lot. And I also tried the, uh, what was it, AN94. I just unlocked that. People are saying that gun's really bad. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad though, but uh, I ended up going like 15 and 1 with it my first game. But there was only like three people on the other team. Because uh, one thing that I noticed uh, tonight actually actually happened three times in a row: uh, play a game, full game, next game, every single person on the other team quit. And uh, it gets kind of old, but what are you gonna do? And right here, using the bipod a little bit right there. I just unlocked the four grip, so that was my 60th kill right there with this weapon. And uh, just trying to shoot that thing, and then I was like, whoa, what is this guy doing? And I didn't had no idea it was there. Took a little while to hit for him down there, but I ended up getting him. See a tank, I'm like, shit, and go prone, wait till he passes by. And that's one of the reasons why I really love prone in this game. Uh, a lot of people, I remember, like, in the beta, were like, oh, take that shit out, take that shit out, because of the snipers and whatnot, but... To be honest with you, prone doesn't bother me, and I, I like its advantages more than its, I don't know, annoyance how other people use it. doesn't really bother me, you know, if they're laying in prone, I'll just hip fire them. <laughs> it works out pretty good. Uh, tank drives right past me. We're actually having spawn trap the majority of this game, but uh, I really like this map, actually. And it's actually one of my favorite maps to play. A lot of it because it's got the little birds. I love the little birds. And, uh... I was ranked in the top 100 with the Little Birds like a week ago. I don't know what I'm at now. I was ranked really high with the Jets, too. And uh, actually, on Xbox Live, I'm ranked third in the world for win-loss ratio. Because uh, my win-loss, actually, I just hit it <laughs> to 45 today. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't even back out of games a lot. Like, it could be easily stat-padded uh, win-loss ratio. But uh, I really don't back out of games a lot, and most of my quits, like my quit percentage isn't even all that high, it's 18%, which seems to be pretty average from what I've been seeing from all my friends and, and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, 10 being low, 30 being high, that's usually about where I'm seeing it on my friends list at least, and uh, yeah, most of my actually quitting out of game is when first couple days the game came out, and, you know, just couldn't get people in the squad and shit, so like might as well just back out. Uh, I don't back out when I'm about to lose or anything like that. Although I did today, but that's because we were outnumbered uh, 5 on 12 or something like that. And uh, it was just really annoying, so I just backed out of that. I'll back out of games like that, but um, 
Yeah, even when we join a game and we're down by half the tickets, uh, still stay in it. And uh, you usually manage to pull it around. I actually got a really good ca comeback game on uh, Caspian Border Conquest, and uh, it's pretty funny playing with uh, <laughs> Wings of Redemption like a week ago, and we got into this game on uh, what was it, the uh, tunnel map, da Dam Van Peak or whatever. And uh, we started getting spawn trapped. They had both the objectives for a while. We were down quite a bit of tickets. And he's all like, man, we're going to lose. The whole game, I'm just telling him, don't worry about it. Do this shit all the time, turn it around. And uh, we actually turned it around when there was 10 tickets left. That's when we finally it was like got down to even. And uh, we had two of the uh, three flags and we were able to win. So uh, usually that's what's been happening. And uh, it sucks because whenever we get some sort of a challenge playing against another full squad, they always just end up leaving the next game, which uh, is disappointing because those games have actually been a lot of fun because the other team goes for the flags and shit. But anyways, guys, final score, 31-5. and five. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, if you haven't tried out this gun, get, definitely recommend giving it a shot. It's a blast. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace. Have a good one.